saw some of those live pictures out there. Roads covered, and you, of course, have got our snow total so far. Yeah, and notice I have so far on there because <laughs> we are going to be seeing more today. Some impressive totals up towards Vernonia, around 13 inches of snow. St. Helens, around 10 inches. Notice out towards Hillsborough, Washington County, 5 inches. And as we get into Portland, 3 and a half inches. And like I mentioned, we're going to add to that today, and I'll get to that here in my extended forecast. But let's talk about what's going on right now. We're dry. Maybe a few flurries going on around there. Even if there are some breaks in the clouds out towards the coast, even over the Cascades this morning. Notice how we down towards the south, we start to see this moisture really increasing in coverage. Already starting to see some light snow showers around Eugene this morning. This is all ahead of the system that's going to really be moving in, and that is going to uh, bring us that moisture coming in later today. And you can see all the clouds really extending out towards our west. So all of this is going to be pulling in later today, and it's going to be combining with those cold temperatures. So what we're going to be seeing is really the snow picking up in the afternoon. And for that reason, a winter storm warning goes in effect for the metro area at 2 p.m. And that will last until 10 a.m. 10 a.m. on Saturday. Now what we're looking at in the way of snow totals anywhere from about one to four inches in the metro area and four to six for the central and southern parts of the Willamette Valley and possibly mixing with uh, a little bit of freezing rain in that as well. So even going to have to watch our southern suburbs as we could get some potential freezing rain mixing in as the day goes on this morning. It's not going to be a problem again. A few flurries possible through about 7 a.m. or so and then maybe even a few sun breaks coming in, but the temperatures are going to remain cold and the east winds are going to remain pretty light. So that's the good news there. So here's the planner for the rest of the day. Once we start to get into the afternoon hours is when I think that the moderate snowfall will really start to pick up between about 3 and 9 p.m. And that's when I think our accumulations will really start to come into the Portland metro area. And I think once we get past about 10 o'clock, then we start to see some clearing and some drying out, which is some good news, at least through tomorrow morning. 21 right now in Portland and notice those winds from the east southeast pretty light at seven miles per hour. Now the wind chill this morning is 11 degrees, so we're definitely feeling the cold, so you need to wear those layers and all of us really falling in uh, to about 19 to 20 degrees, 10 out towards Hood River and 14 out in the Dells, and you're going to stay below freezing through the week and you're not going to see much thawing out. So here's where we're seeing that winter storm warning for the area shaded in pink. Again, that goes until 10 a.m. on Saturday for the area shaded in blue. Those are winter weather advisories, so out towards Enterprise and Pendleton, you're in a winter storm warning down towards Bend as well in the southern parts of Oregon. Up the I-5 corridor towards the north, Kelso and Longview, that's a winter weather advisory, and that begins today at 4 p.m. and goes until 10 a.m. on Saturday, and that's because you're going to see the snow develop a little bit later. So here's the moisture uh, creeping in from the south, just like we saw on that satellite and radar. Notice how it starts to get into the area around 4 o'clock. Notice the pink right here. This is where I'm mentioning that we could see a brief period of some freezing rain before we change over to snow or moderate snowfall between about 4 and 8 p.m. down towards the south still looking at that wintry mix. Now once we get into the evening and overnight hours notice by midnight all of that starts to push towards the east and then we get a bit of a break overnight into tomorrow but we're still looking at moisture coming in for through uh, the late morning and afternoon hours where we could see the potential for a wintry mix possibly changing over to some snow coming in towards tomorrow so maybe an additional inch of snowfall so still three to six inches further south two to four possibly in the metro and one to two out towards the coast eastern side of the state four to eight inches and then again through uh, the Dalles and through the gorge around two to six and it will be quite breezy nice snow though coming in for the cascade so here's a look at the extended forecast once we get into Sunday finally we start to see some thawing out but next week looks quite wet with a, a good amount of rain coming in with temperatures near 50 degrees Riley thank you so much stay with us we've got